Young and the Restless fans, happy hump day Wednesday. Hopefully you're having a wonderful one as we have another episode to talk about. First, we see Nikki telling Audra everything that happened in Oregon. Heather tried to get in where she fit in since Lily is away. And Michael takes Claire's case. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is your young and the restless recap for December 13th. And without any further ado, let's talk about what went down in Genoa City today. So first up, we start out with Heather making a surprise visit to Daniel's place. Now, of course, Lily is away. Daniel's caught off guard, opening the door in a robe. Classic soap opera moment, right? Heather is there to thank Daniel for helping her find a new place. Now, as they chat over coffee, the conversation inevitably turns to Lily, and Daniel mentions that she's out of town for a while. Heather, with a small smile on her face, lighting up like a Christmas tree, seems to be getting a little bit cozy with Daniel. Now the two of them discuss the recent fire and the impact on Maddie and Daniel shares his concern about not being there for Lucy in the past. Heather touches his hand showing her support Meanwhile, and they share Nikki a moment. Nikki is back over at Newman Media much to Audra's surprise but Nikki is not there for pleasantry. She reveals that Claire, her former colleague was actually a psycho trying to harm her family. Audra is shocked and offer her support. Now Nikki lost in thought is struggling with the recent traumatic events and she is drinking. However, why the heck would Nikki tell Audra about what happened in Oregon when they're not even telling Adam nor Abby, who are family members, which Audra is not, about what happened? Man, listen, the Newman suck. Back at Crimson Lights, Nate is still expressing his gratitude to Devon for giving him another chance. Now, the two of them discuss a potential job opportunity for Nate and Devon introduces him as a new employee with valuable resources. Then Victoria comes in. Devon notices the energy between the two of them, which has him now concerned. Really, Devon? However, Victoria did make it clear to Devon that she felt that Nate was not after coming for Newman. So now Cole arrives and they're working together to gather evidence on Claire's true identity. Victoria is emotionally torn, feeling that Claire might be Eve. Cole reassures her, emphasizing that they need to help Claire no matter what. Now the episode takes an unexpected turn when Michael joins the scene. He empathizes with Claire's troubled state and agrees to take on the case. Michael reveals his personal connection to a difficult upbringing, expressing his commitment to helping Claire. So now Devon and Abby is having a chat at Society about Nate's first day back at the company. Now Devon shares his concerns about the potential impact of Victoria's presence on Nate. Abby, on the other hand, is glad to be spared from the drama but hopes Nate won't betray the family. So then Daniel and Heather arrive over at Society, have a friendly chat about Lily and Lucy, with Abby watching their interaction closely. Abby seems overly concerned about Daniel's feelings for Lily as they discuss Lily's return. And she's watching Heather like a hawk, wondering if she's trying to come for Lily's man. Um, Abby, I think you need to take several seats because not too long ago, you came right in the middle of Devon and Amanda. So before you try to throw stones, trying to wonder if somebody is moving in on somebody's man, uh, maybe rewind yourself and look at what just happened this past year with you and Devon. On the couch, on the floor, on the stairs, up against the wall. But I guess you forgot about that, right, Abby? However, Daniel and Heather are still having their friendly chat about Lily and Lucy and he gets a phone call from Lily and take off. And the look on Heather's face is priceless. And I'm thinking like, uh, Heather girl, you do know he was going to take that call. Why are you shocked? And finally, Nikki arrives home at the ranch. She contemplates getting a drink. Alone in the living room, she reaches for her flask, but hears Victoria calling. Nikki sets the bottle down and trying to hide her struggles. Nikki needs some help, like, right now. I mean, she's not even sticking with a glass of alcohol. She's taking the whole bottle back. So hopefully, she can eventually get the help that she needs before something disastrous happens. 
Okay, so there you have it. Another thrilling episode of The Young and the Restless with unexpected twists and intense moments. This was your recap for Wednesday, December 13th, 2023. Stay tuned for more Young and the Restless drama along with the bold and the beautiful for today. And don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comment section below. So until next time, happy watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.